This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video. I'm going to be playing my World Chalice list again. Hopefully I'm going to be trying to get some more, you know, decent, interesting, and good games on the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Percy servers. Hopefully not going to be running into as many 60-card decks as I did last time, and hopefully... Those 60 card decks are going to be a little bit more competent in terms of their pilots or will play better. Because ultimately, from what I've seen, 60 card decks in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now, mm -mm, not what I would consider good. Uh, but anyway, so what I'm playing is the World Chalice list that I put up on my channel yesterday. If you're interested in more detailed explanations of why certain cards are what they are and why they're in those ratios, then definitely go check that out if you're interested. If not, you've got the list on screen right here. I've fulfilled my duty. But anyway, let's not waste too much time here, and let's just jump straight into the first, maybe only game, depending on how long it is. Let's just jump straight in. Alright, so, let's see how this goes. Let's see how this nonsense goes. I'm going to be going second against this. I have been playing against some busters so far, uh, but you're not going to see any of that, so perfectly fine. Terraforming for what? Sky Iris. Alright, Pendulums. I can respect this. I've got Waterfront, Venus, plus World Legacy, World Chalice. This hand would have been nuts if I had gone first. Mayo Sinju Dieback? What are you doing here? Well, alright. Cool. Alright. Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm playing a TCG legal deck, uh, but I'm playing a TCG OCG because I don't really care. Uh, it just makes it makes things a little bit more interesting um, if I have to figure out what I'm dealing with. Odd Eyes Persona Dragon. So you added this just to discard it and pay 500 when you could have just searched Persona Dragon directly? I don't know if there's any reason for that. Hmm. Uh, because this doesn't do anything, um, this doesn't do anything with that. That was a Duelist Alliance for what? For a Poor Pop Pendulum Sorcerer? Okay, cool. That. And what is this? Abyss Actor Superstar. What does this do? Uh, Spell Traps cannot be activated. You can set an Abyss Script. Cool. Uh, send it to the graveyard during the end phase. So he's got a Joker plus another card that I was not allowed to see. I get Turtle. Okay. So Superstar, and what does Funky Comedian do? Does it do anything? I know one of them's like a plush fire, but I think that's Wild Hope. It's been like a solid year and a half since I've read Abyss Actors. Because uh, <laughs> they came out legitimately like November of last year, of 2016, and that was the last time I ever read these cards. Um, so what is that uh, Abyss script that is going to be going to the graveyard uh, at the end of the turn? Ah, he made a Heavy Metal Foes Electrum. And so now he's going to be drawing three cards off his uh, Geturtle Lizard draw interaction. And he put a... What did he put over here? I want to read... I want to read these cards! It looks like a rainbow... The rainbow card. The rainbow magician? Rainbow high magician or whatever? Um, please, let me fucking read! <laughs> I just want to read! That's all I want to do! <laughs> please! Wild Hope. That one's the plush fire, if I remember correctly. So what is that? Five Arc Magician. This card does like nothing, right? Um, okay, and then, okay, so it's in his scale, which means I probably have to clear it, um, no, in phase, the Abyss Script uh, goes to Grave, so I don't know what this is, uh, what does this do in its scale, uh, can't pendulum from the extra deck, yeah, 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 um, based on the number of set cards in the spell or trap card zones, um, zero, uh, Okay, so I can't activate my effects unless I set this transmodify. Easy. Alright. Um, Alright, cool. I'll, I'll do that. I, I can mess with this. So I can't activate this until I set the transmodify. Then I'm going to activate the Kyoto Waterfront. And then I'm going to start activating this Venus. Um, so depending on what this trap is, is going to be the indicator for how my turn goes. But I can send two cards from the field to the grave with Ninjirsu, uh, and I will be able to... Trigate Wizard, does he only interact with monsters, or does he interact with cards? Target one card on the field banishes. So I can remove three cards from the field uh, with Trigate and Ninjirsu combo. So I can get rid of this, I can get rid of this, get rid of this, attack everything else. Sounds broken. Uh, sounds like the way we want to do things, and I'm going to keep this in my hand as protection. Uh, for my opponent's stuff. Uh, but so we'll do that. We will normal summon the uh, the world legacy world chalice. 
And now I can mask my World Legacy World Chalice by summoning this. Um, and because I can summon this, I can search another copy of it off of my uh, off of my Lee uh, to keep one in hand for protection purposes. Uh, but so we'll do that, do that. Chain link one, chain link two. Uh, this guard dragon will be summoned here because I want to summon Lee here and then a, a vanilla here. So Lee and Chosen. Uh, Chosen can go over here and Lee can go over here. And then Lee's effect will search for another guard dragon for further protection uh, from anything that this might be that would uh, target my monsters and give me bad times. But what we have access to here is we have access to we have access to making Eeb if I can find it. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> You'd think that I'd understand my own sorting methods by now. Um, but so we'll do guard dragon and Lee into Eeb. And now I have access to the guard dragon and grave for further turn structuring. And these can go into proxy dragon, Imduk, uh, summon in Girsu, special this out of my hand. Yes. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so proxy dragon with these two right here. And now we'll go into Imduk with the chosen right here. And now I could use the guard dragon in my graveyard, or I could just mask my Ningirsu and summon the guard dragon in my hand. Uh, so we'll do that. We'll do this. So Ningirsu will be summoned. The Imduk will be chain link two engrave summon this guard dragon from my hand over here. Um, thank god I didn't draw the gamma seal because I didn't realize I was at five counters. Uh, I'm so used to playing this deck like IRL, uh, like where I just don't make these mistakes uh, because I have the cards in front of me. It's such a different beast playing on an actual uh, like platform. Uh, but so now I've got multiple cards to throw, literally throw, at, uh, at my opponent because I can summon this Seraph Knight Sending Lazuli and sending, I guess, another lead a grave. Or I could send Ghost Ogre. That kind of ghetto searches it. That's 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 how we want to mess with this. So now the Lazuli's effect will add back uh, the Chosen by the World Chalice in my grave, so I can summon it um, through my plays. I'll use this Lee to send the Seraph Knight to grave, and now this Brilliant Fusion is just chilling on my field, freely for me to use this Abyss Script Abysstainment. Um, nothing, nothing real. Okay, good to know. Good to know, my dude! Um, alright. So, now I can go into my Firewall Dragon with these two. I'll go into that over here. Um, and then I'll use the Ningirsu's effect, not the Firewall. Uh, and I'm going to Special Summon the Lee over here. And so now I can use its effect to... My opponent has surrendered. Okay. Well, basically, Orem, Tribute Lee, bring back Ningirsu, use Ningirsu to send Transmodify, send 5 Arc Magician to Grave, or to his extra deck, and then I get to go, uh, I get to go into a, uh, the, the Guard Dragon from Grave, into a Vanilla, which can make a second Firewall Dragon, uh, somewhere in here, or I can make the, uh, I can make the, uh, Trigate Wizard with these two, which this will trigger to summon my vanilla from hand, which will then link into Link Spider, which will then make the Trigate Wizard live for all three effects, but it was already live for two, meaning it can banish this Heavy Metal Foes Electrum, uh, and then it's just then it's just easy. It's just cookie cutter from there, right? So let's go into another game. All right, so hopefully this can work out because God, man, there's so many busters on Yu-Gi-Oh Pro. There's a reason that I actually just don't like this program. <laughs> I don't like any automated duel programs. Like, Dueling Book is better for you. Uh, what is this? Heraldic Beast Twin Headed Eagle. One time passcode. I, I probably shouldn't judge. He's probably got some, like, savage nonsense that he can hit me with. Oh, really? That's it? Alright. <laughs> okay then, buddy. Alright. Well, I guess we'll just Brilliant Fusion. Uh, sending Venus and sending Lazuli. I should have actually summoned the Shine Ball first and made Link Spider, but uh, it's actually n not important. And it's actually, yeah, that's not actually just not correct. Uh, so we'll summon Lee, use Lee's effect to add World Legacy World Chalice, and then from here I get to tribute summon this by hitting the Seraph Knight out of my extra monster zone, 
And now I only lose to an Ash Blossom here, but it wouldn't even really be a loss because I'm still controlling the board with everything that I've got. But so we'll get a Chosen and we'll get a Guard Dragon uh, and we'll put Guard Dragon here and we'll put Chosen here. And then I've got the access to the Exodius plus the Venus in my graveyard. So all in all, this seems pretty all right. I'd lose to Ghost Ogre really hard here though. No, no, <laughs> no problems about admitting to that one. Would 100% lose to an Ogre there. Uh, but so now we'll Venus and we'll Venus for these Shine Balls. This one will come out of my hand, which is fine because then I get to Exodius uh, and I get to do some stuff there. I'm going to be. Ha I'm going to have to use this Venus in a way uh, that leaves it on my field as long as possible, uh, strictly for using for usage purposes. Uh, but so we'll go into Eb here. Uh, I can special summon the Exodius um, after these go to grave. So these will go into uh, an Imduk here and. This will go into, I guess, a Link Spider? Or should I just go into Proxy Dragon and save myself the effort? I should just go into Proxy Dragon and save myself the effort. Uh, so Proxy Dragon here, doesn't matter that I use that Imduk because it's about to get shuffled back with Exodius. Uh, so we'll shuffle back, put Exodius on board. And now from here, I can use Venus. Venus can summon this Shine Ball here, which I can then link away Exodius and these away into a firewall, or I could just link into another Eeb way over here, um, which is probably the best way to get use out of my stuff. Uh, and then I can use this to summon Shine Ball again. I'm just going to get an Ingirsu draw two here. Um, there's no real reason for me to go balls out um, and waste resources when I don't need to. Uh, especially since I've got this Exodius here, so that means the Venus can do three more balls. So, like, <laughs> there's there's no reason not to just draw two off the Ningirsu, especially since I'm basically guaranteed to try get Wizard play. Uh, so, yeah, we'll get rid of the Proxy Dragon, and we'll get rid of the Imduk here. Uh, I can put Ningirsu here, or I can put it here. Uh, it, it's the same number of draws either way. How very cute. How very nifty. Uh, but so Kyoto Waterfront, hell yeah, we'll take that. Uh, that's pretty much the best thing I could have asked for, actually. Uh, but so this will summon Shine Ball here, and then I can use this Ningirsu to send a grave, send a grave, and now I get to go into a Firewall Dragon using Ningirsu and Shine Ball. So that this Firewall is already loaded for two. Pretty nifty. Pretty nafty. Um, and then I will special summon Exodius right here. Uh, and then I can link with the uh, Orum because I've already used it into a Trigate Wizard. So Orum, Exodius, Trigate Wizard. And now from here, these two Ebes can become another Firewall Dragon in the middle. Uh, and then I can do Link Spider, Link Spider. Um, so yeah, that's how we'll do this. I arguably should have done that before I even dropped the Exodius, because now those Eves are just in my graveyard doing literally nothing. Um, and I think there's also... A, no, the Guard Dragon got shuffled back. That's right. Uh, but So I'll use this to add my Gamma Seal to hand, because that's going to be live. Uh, the Proxy Dragon is back into my extra deck, so that's live. Um, so there's that to consider as well. Uh, but So this can go into Link Spider... Above the Trigate Wizard. No, not yet. I can activate the Trigate Wizard's effect to banish this. Then I can use Venus to special summon another Shine Ball over here, which I can then make into Link Spider. I'm extra linking my opponent when I already have game. Because we're just trying to style. That's all we're trying to do. That's all we're trying to do with this deck. That's all we were ever trying to do with World Chalice is style. What does that word even mean? I don't even know. I don't even know what your words that you say mean. No, no chaining. Summon Gamma Seal in attack mode. 
battle phase with seven monsters. <laughs> Whee! All right. So now, if he has Swift Scarecrow, Battle Fader, any of those cards, then suddenly we have two Gamma Seal Negates and a Trigate Wizard Negation for those. So that's, that's all we were ever trying to do with World Chalice. We were just trying to style. This deck is the coolest style deck. It's like, I'll take all seven Monster Card Zones. Bitch, you guessed it. Um, like, <laughs> it's so free. It's so easy. In fact, my opponent has something. I'm going to attack with this Firewall Dragon so he can feel uh, fulfilled. Because my opponent does have something here. He has something. It keeps giving him a window. He definitely has something. And it's probably some outdated shit like Gores. Because that's the kind of things you run into on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro. Oh, really? Nothing. How very strange. Firewall. The thing is, is that even if I didn't have a way to negate a Gores, I still got two Firewall Dragons that are co-linked to two monsters each. So I could bounce Gores twice and just attack for damage. I could bounce Gores and the token twice. <laughs> if I attacked into a Gores, I could bounce it and the token. Attack again for more damage. He drops it again. I bounce it and the token again. Attack for more damage for probably game. <laughs> so there's those things to consider when you're playing around this sort of stuff. So I'm going to try and get one more game and make the video a little bit longer because at this point, I have no idea how long the video actually is because uh, my timer is not completely accurate uh, to what I've been playing because I started and stopped it when I was playing against Busters that would just do some nonsense and then leave. So let's jump into another one. All right, so probably last game of the video. We'll see how this uh, turns out. I'm going second, which is good. I, I enjoy those games uh, because there's not really a lot of back row in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh right now. Um, and like my deck is built to reflect that. Uh, but yeah, there are things I definitely want to test, like putting evenly matched in the main deck and stuff like that. But as of right now, I haven't seen a need. Uh, the only thing it would do is like remove some of the hand traps because it'd be a card you go second and you're just like, ha. Uh, um, but I'm going second against a person whose name is GB Smokescreen. Very interesting. I'm playing against Magicians. Hell yeah! This is a real deck if I ever did see one. Let's see if I can catch like a Pendulum Call with an Ash Blossom. That'd be kind of awesome. Uh, but otherwise, my hand is pretty alright because I've got I've got Lee plus Brilliant Fusion, which is a play by itself, plus Exodius. Um, so like, that's cool. Uh, the fact that Lee plus Brilliant Fusion is already a play to get to a, uh, a Venus is really, really good. Honestly, it's something that I can't stress enough. Uh, let's see, what is this? Pendulum Graph of Ages? Well, well, Duelist. You're going to activate that, alright. So what does that mean? Do you have like a Pendulum Sorcerer in your hand? A Harmonizing. And an Iris. Well, that's not what I was expecting. Um, do I want to Ash this? In any way? No, I do not. I do not wish to Ash it. Uh, but now my opponent basically knows that I do have an Ash in my hand because, well, no, I could have an Ash or an Ogre or a Maxi. Uh, but at this point, Maxi would have been activated, so he could probably rule those out. Uh, but he knows I have Ash or Ogre. Uh, Timebreaker Magician. Odd choice. All right. For Metal Foes Electrum. All right. Cool. All right. Hmm. All right. Not something that I was expecting. Uh, but it's okay, because I can play through this pretty easily, honestly. Uh, he's got another Harmonizing Magician in his hand. I don't have to worry about any of this, uh, because this uh, is a battle effect, and this is a during, um, uh, during his own turn effect, because it's not a quick effect. But he destroyed that, got this search, um, and now I'm going to Ash this, 100%. Don't want him having that trap. No, 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 no. No trap. No trap for you. No trap for me, no trap for you. Uh, so you can add, you can summon this. That's fine. I don't care about that. I know every card in your hand now. You have a Harmonizing Magician and another Double Iris that doesn't do anything. Um, the trap card Time Pendulum Graph is the only thing that I was afraid of. In this entire matchup, that's the only card that you're only even slightly afraid of. And now I just get to kill him. Because I know every card in his hand, and it's time to win. I know every card in his hand and on his field. Uh, so, Venus Lazuli, up here, uh, normal summon the Lee, use its effect. I don't even have to fear Ash or Ogre. This is such a good feeling. This feels so free. <laughs> I know every card. Alright. Well, let's see here then. We're just gonna, we're just gonna do this the, uh, the old-fashioned hurdle-dirtle way. 
Use this effect, yes. And I would like to summon the Chosen and the Guard Dragon. Um, and so, which one is being summoned? Guard Dragon? Guard Dragon is here. Chosen is here. Not like it actually matters. Uh, I don't believe it actually matters. But, I mean, hey. Just for flavor. For zest, right? Uh, Venus. And now we'll get to the balls. You know, I, I was really skeptical about cutting Transmodify down in my list. And I may have mentioned this before. Um, because I started seeing people that are just playing no Transmodifies and stuff. And I was like, man, I know there are ways to get to it with this nonsense. But I'm... I'm really, I'm really scared of, of that, of like just not drawing it, of just not getting to Venus because that's basically like the entirety of your deck. Um, but it turns out it's just fine. It turns out it's literally just okay, <laughs> and it's something that you just have to respect. Uh, so we'll make Proxy Dragon with these two right here, uh, and now I'm going to be able to banish for Guard Dragon. Uh, please, I'd like to activate my Guard Dragon. Oh, there we go. Um, so I'll activate my Guard Dragon uh, to bring back this Chosen. I'm only going to Ningirsu draw for two again uh, because I want to keep the Venus while I've got the Exodius, but I want to Ningirsu draw before I do uh, any of my other stuff. Uh, so we'll just make a Link Spider because it doesn't matter. It's going to go back into my extra deck off this Exodius. Uh, and then I will go into the Ningirsu here. And so now this can draw two, which was... Eh, not the best draws, but it's okay, because I'm just going to kill my opponent. Uh, in fact, I'm probably going to leave this Exodius on the field, uh, thinking about it. Uh, I can also Foolish another Exodius and add it to my hand with Firewall Dragon. <laughs> That's a play. That's a play and a half. Uh, but So we'll summon this over here, and then I can actually Foolish to, uh, the Lazuli to add back my Shine Ball again. Ho 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 Um We're we're getting into the saucy territory now. Uh but so I'll go oop, nope. D deselect materials, I wish to send cards to grave first off this Ningirsu. One hundred percent wish to do that first. Almost made a mistake. Uh but I could have corrected it by bouncing with firewall dragons, honestly. Uh but it's something that I'd rather not make the mistake of. Uh but yes I will use this effect. Um, I'm going to do it to summon this up here. And now I have access to another firewall with these monsters into this zone. Um, yeah, so I will do that. So we'll go firewall with these. Boom! Up here. Uh, and now I can use Aurum to special this from my hand just to be used as another combo piece, which is perfectly fine. I'll activate this to send that Lazuli from deck to grave. Uh, to add back my to add back my shine ball, so that I can just summon more shine balls for free. That was always the business that we were trying to do. Uh, but so now I'll summon a shine ball from my deck here, and I've got access here into Link Spider up top, um, or I could do um, I could do Proxy Dragon into into Trigate. So I will do that. Uh, proxy. Uh, we'll activate this Venus again to summon this from deck again over here. And I'm going to go ahead and go into Link Spider up top. Oh, whoops. <laughs> well, it's fine. I've got multiples. <laughs> Forgot about the fact that there's nothing pointing up into that zone. Um, so we'll make Trigate Wizard here with these. Boink. Uh, and then instead of paying the five to summon this with Venus... I'll just summon it this way. Um, so that's fine. I've got another Link Spider in my extra deck, so that's perfectly reasonable. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate this Firewall's effect to add back um, just a monster that can be summoned uh, so that I can go into... Well, no, I can... Yeah, I can go into Eeb. Yes, I can go into Eeb. That's the, that's the card I can go into because uh, there's still one in my extra deck. So I'll special summon the Link Spider up here. This Firewall Dragon will trigger. The special this over here. And then I get to make Eeb with these two. So now Trigate has a negation, but it can also just banish a card straight up. So we will banish this card. <laughs> Wee! Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. All right. So now, game.
Game Duelist? GG and Bravo. Hell yeah. Man, these are the kind of people I enjoy in Yu-Gi-Oh. The people that can take a loss with some gust, with like, with some, with some backbone, with some gusto. Uh, the people that will just sit there and let you do your thing and just be like, what the hell is happening? And they'll just watch the entire thing out. Those are the kind of people that I enjoy because those are the people that are like, they understand that in order to improve at the game, you have to understand every single aspect of why you lost. Um, like, taking losses, you arguably learn more from losses than you do from winning. Uh, and that's something that I could touch on in another video, um, in terms of just player mentality. Uh, but anyway, I guess that's gonna be it for the games that I'm gonna get for this video, so... But yeah, so I guess that's gonna be it. I'm gonna cut the video here because it's already getting a little bit long, even though my timer isn't exactly accurate for what it is. I have an idea of how long it is, and... We're kind of encroaching that too long territory that I didn't want to get into. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. As per always, links as always are in the description down below to my Facebook fan page as well as my personal Patreon page. If you want to support the channel directly, then Patreon is obviously the best way to do so. It helps the channel grow. It helps equipment get better. It helps me improve the quality of content that I can do by investing more time into it. All that sort of stuff. So if you're interested in supporting the channel directly, then Patreon is the best way to do so. As I've already said, and you'd have my eternal gratitude if that's something you wanted to go down the path of doing. But otherwise... As I've already said, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. Thanks for your time as usual, guys. And take care. I guess I'll see you all in the next video. Alright, so now that the video's over, I'd like to give a special thanks to Iradium, Jay Garcia, Yuki Phoenix, Troy Perkins, and Eric Gertson, as well as everybody else that is currently supporting me on Patreon this month. You guys help out a ton, a lot more than you may ever know, and you have my eternal gratitude. You guys are forever awesome. Thank you so much for the support, you guys.